As it was a it was a really important win coming off the back of a good win against Coventry, playing another good team in the league, and uh, you know, that's a nice feeling, isn't it? Um, the fact that they haven't lost all year just shows what a good team they are, and uh, and it also shows you know what we can do. And it's, it's, we've not been too good away at home recently, and what a way to, to you know put a, an end to that run. Well, Jake gave you a great start with a goal from about two yards, but you had quite a bit to do for yours. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was nice. I, um, I had another one-on-one -on -one last week against Coventry, and the defender caught me up. But it was, it was a bit sloppy for me. So this this time, I thought I just got to get half a yard and shoot. And you know, I fancied myself on my left, and um, and it went in. But it was such a great relief, really. And it's we know that we were sort of going to get bombarded at the end and, yeah. and hold on, but we just tried to get through that 15 minutes in the second half and uh, and keep it at two 0 and could have gone on and got a third with it you know we had chances with with Holmesy if that goes in it, it would it maybe give us a bit more breathing space but it was a it was a nervy little finish but I think we've done enough in terms of the goal we, you, you turned Hewitt to open up the angle did you yeah. did you think was that obviously was an instant decision an important thing yeah to do? I think I realized that we were 1v1 so I just tried to create the most space possible instead of just coming down the line to show for it I Obviously, Jake's ability with uh, his pass, and he's managed to find me in space. And as soon as I got in a bit of space, I just, you know, thought, "Got to get a yard here and shoot." And, and it was lovely to see it go in. It's, uh, I've scored a few in a row now away, and it's, it's nice to, uh, to, you know, to contribute to to a successful side. Important to to check this run that's seen a sequence of array results that have gone against you. Yeah, that's exactly it. We uh, we've been poor away recently. So sometimes you know our performances haven't matched the result, but especially today, I think we gave the travelling fans who were brilliant all game to be honest um, something to cheer for, and uh, we we came away with a, a well earned win and one that we really deserved. And you've got a, a, t a ten day break until not say a break and, until the next game. There's a, a chance just to assess where you are and. As Paul says, there's a lot of football still to play, and you're right in the mixer now. Yeah, we are. I mean, we've got game in hand to a lot of teams as well, so we've uh, we've managed to uh, get ourselves in a great position for this 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 part of the season. And I think that ten days gives us things to work on. Now we want to work on a lot. We want to give you know our pitch a bit of a, a, a rest, especially it's not being too good at the moment. But our home form's been good. And is it Forest Green on the Wednesday, which is uh, going to be the next game? But you know they're tough. They're fighting at the moment, and. Uh, it's up to us to uh, to keep this run going because momentum's massive in this league. And just to mention that you're pretty familiar with them having played them in the FA Cup and had the abandoned game at yeah. half time. Yeah, we feel like we should be playing every week and sort of becoming best friends with the players. So, uh, it was uh, it's nice to uh, you know see them and um, they're a good passing team and it's up to us to um, to try and find a way past them. Thanks for your time.